If you're watching this quick tutorial, I'm going to assume that you know how to open up Stencil, sort out your workspace folder, and also how to import characters from somewhere like Piscolab into Stencil using a sprite sheet. If you haven't already done so, do watch the video on movement because that will help you get your character moving just the way you want it to. And in this video, we're going to look at jumps. Let's get to it. We've already got our movement blocks over here. So I'm going to create a new when updating block and call that jumping like this. For a jump, what I want to do is use the spacebar as my jump key. So I'm going to add a if I'm going to go to user input and click on the control. Now, when I choose a control, I can see that the space bar is not there. So I'm very quickly going to go to the settings, go all the way down to controls and add a new control for the space bar. I'm going to call that the space bar like this, click on there and press on my space bar. And you can see that's the symbol for space bar. Press OK. Now, when I go to control and choose control, you'll see that the space bar is there. And that's going to go into the when updating. So with a when updating, what I want to do is add an upward movement. That's a jump to my character. It's already got a left and a right. So let's do that very quickly. Let's take our actors and motion and we're going to set the Y speed. And remember in stencil up is a minus number, whereas down is a positive number. So I'm going to say minus 40 like this. Now, remember, we've got gravity switched on. We did that earlier on when we brought our character into the game. So when I press up, our character is going to jump up and gravity should bring our character back down to Earth. Let's test that out. And here we go. Our left and our right movement is working. And you can see that our character is jumping really well like this. Now, let's have a look at if there's any problems. And there's our first problem there is the fact that our space bar, although it makes our character jump, you can kind of just press the space bar as long as you want to and turn this game into Flappy Bird, which is not what we wanted to do. So let's go and fix that problem as we've got it. Now this problem we can solve by using an attribute which checks where our character is when he's jumping. Let's do that right now. We're gonna set an attribute which is going to be a Boolean, that's a true or a false, and it's going to be called touching floor or touch floor. I'll shorten that like that. So touch floor is a Boolean. It can either be true or false. So let's have a look. When the game starts, we are going to set touching floor to true, which means our character is touching the floor. In the jumping blocks, we now have to tell the space bar to only jump if our character is touching the floor. So let's do that right now. We're going to go to our flow and we're going to put an and. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a condition to our jump. What that means is if we press the space bar and touching floor equals true. So let's do that now. like this. If the space bar is down and at the time you're pressing the space bar, touching floor equals true, then Y speed is minus 40. Now, if that happens and we're touching the floor and you press the space bar and you jump up, well, at the moment you jump up, you're not touching the floor anymore. So let's make that happen. So while you're jumping up in the air, we set touching floor to false. And there we are. Now, obviously, you might have spotted there's a bit of a problem. We haven't yet told the game to check if our character is actually touching the floor or not. So let's do that right now. For that to happen, we actually need to set up a collision block. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if our actor hits a member of a group, which group are we talking about? So let's have a look. When the actor, which is self, that's Nubby over there, hits an actor of group and let's choose a group and say when our actor hits anything that's a tile, we are going to set touching floor to true. So let's look at what we've done here. We have told our character that if 
Our character Nubby is touching a tile that's there. Touching floor is true. If touching floor is true and you press the spacebar, you are allowed to jump. But as soon as you jump, touching floor is going to be set to false. It's kind of a really cool code to get Nubby up in the air, but not to be able to jump over and over so that he flies. Let's just test that game and see if it works. And let's have a look. Left and right is still working. And you can see that I've got the jump. But I can't jump more than once, even if I hammer away. So when he jumps, touching floor is false. I'm not allowed to jump. As soon as he touches the floor, I can jump again because touching floor is true. That's a really simple way of controlling a jump and making it look really good.